Being Prime Minister, I've been to something like 15 council meetings or more. At every one of those, I've been working hard to negotiate the best possible deal for the UK in leaving the European Union, and it's a matter of great regret to me that I haven't been able to deliver uh, Brexit. Uh, but of course, uh, that matter is now for my successor, and they will have to find a way of addressing the very strongly held views on both sides of this, uh, of this issue. And to do that, and to get a majority in Parliament, as I said on Friday, I think will require compromise. Uh, but while we're still a member of the European Union, while I am Prime Minister, I'll be continuing to uh, meet the obligations of the office and the duties of the office. And of course, that includes being here today where we're due to discuss the top jobs in EU institutions. And the UK will continue to play a constructive role during the time of this extension of Article 50. Now, some in your cabinet who want to succeed you have suggested they will renegotiate the withdrawal agreement. Other former cabinet ministers say they'll let the UK leave without a deal in October. Are either of those positions credible? The position I've always taken has been to work to get the best possible deal for the UK in leaving the EU. I've always taken the view that the best option for the UK is to leave the European Union with a deal. I'm not going to comment on the views of individual candidates. There will be a process of selecting my successor as leader of the Conservative Party, uh, but I continue to have the view that it's best for the UK to leave with a deal. Would you worry?